Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Check this out. Hello. Good start to the day. Moving, moving good through the water. Moving well. Um, very excited to get into Cape May tonight. Um, but these conditions are great. The boat's handling it well. Um, I'm up here in case a big gust of wind comes, I can let this sail out a little bit. Everything's working well. Folks, we are motor sailing on a beam reach. We've got a medium amount of sail up and we are hauling. We are almost doing six knots, which is the record speed for this boat in non, non tidal waters. Good morning from Cape May. I've taken off into the bay across the kind of straits between New Jersey and Delaware. Nice uh, pretty morning, light breeze. Just finished getting all the sails up. They're just hanging out. Got everything like maxed out in size um, to catch all this all this wind. And I'm gonna stay in a marina tonight um, and wait out some kind of heavy winds Saturday, Sunday. Um, it'll be nice to kind of clean out the boat, fuel up, get get some get some good rest, get some food. Um, and then make the final push to Norfolk, hopefully early next week. Um, trying to outrun the cold. Got pretty chilly last night, but I had my, all my windows open, so it's kind of on me. But hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, listening to NPR on my, uh, my radio. <laughs> you know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've picked up a bit. My second reef. I don't know how to get rid of that flap, um, but I don't want to put too much pressure on the sail, so. Just leaving it for now. I think I went around, I was hugging the coast and then I went around this kind of curve in the land. And I think I exposed myself to like three more miles of wind kind of ramp up. So now I got these big honking chop waves coming at me. And uh, it's making it very bumpy and a little slow. So I might tack back in. Try to try to get to some calmer water and maybe a little less wind too. Um, I got the motor running to kind of punch through some of this. Little little unnerved, a little, little rattled, but probably all right.
from the Great Dismal Swamp Canal. Uh, it's just me and one other boat. We just went through the lock back there. They're stopping to get groceries. I got started. Um, heading to the Welcome Center tonight, which is about maybe 15 miles away. Um, getting ready to make a little food here. And yeah, nice and straight. I, uh, I think something was jamming the water intake in the boat, so I had to dive in, in the swamp. Gro grossest water I think I've ever been in, just straight brown. And I'm, I'm fully Malcolm in the middle of out, out here. <laughs> oh, crocodile tears, each time they fall. Somehow I know, mean nothing at all. Whenever I find you're not sincere, you hide. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Every day, once a day, give yourself a present. Don't plan it, don't wait for it, just let it happen. It could be a new shirt at the men's store, a cat nap in your office chair, or two cups of good. I'll tell you right now, as far as sailing goes, it really doesn't get better than this. Easy five to ten knotter, protected sound, full sail. Hot black coffee, like this, compressed, like Christmas. Some rain coming in. Today has been pretty rough. I've been motoring into the wind, into the rain. Everyone else has nice boats with covered biminis. And I'm just here getting blasted in my, uh, my gear. It's not fun, it's like transport, sailing, you know, boating, whatever. Um, but whatever, just gotta get through it. I'm trying to trying to scope out my plan for tonight. We made it through the rain and the, the irons, and now we're sailing, baby. We're blasting. Got some nice wind coming in. Nice little inner protected water sailing. Motor sailing, moving along nicely. Much happier now. I believe this is what they call a squall. The water is looking very tropical. Here's an update. I thought today would be chill to motor into the wind uh, to get some mileage down, but I'm realizing now that that was probably a mistake. Um, this is crazy. The boat's really feeling the wind, so am I. This I understand why no one else is out today. Hey everybody. Today, super rough day. Probably the roughest day I've had sailing. I never really been out in, you know, what I saw to be like 15, 20 knots with high gusts, 20 knots of wind right on the nose, 
barely moving forward. Bimini is flapping all over the place. Boats flapping all over the place. Um, and I go, I go down under, I go into the cabin to grab something, grab like a snack or something. I put the autopilot on and I feel the ground in the boat. I feel a maybe run aground. I feel like this kind of slide into some sand. All of a sudden I'm like 20 degrees heeled over, stuck on this shoal, getting pushed further and further up away from the channel. So I call Boat US. They send somebody over, but then he, you know, pulls me out and I'm out in the channel. And he says like, I don't know where you're gonna go. I mean, I don't even know if you're gonna make it past this upcoming section. And I'm thinking, you know, sure. Like I've gone slow in the past before. I just gotta like grip my teeth and like push through it. It'll be fine. And past this bridge, there's like a big opening and just this new level of wind hits me. I look at the side of the channel and I'm barely moving. I might as well be at a standstill. You know, I'm scrambling, looking for an anchorage. I kind of knew I wasn't gonna make it to where I thought I was gonna make it that day. And I'm looking for a spot to anchor that's closer. And this whole area is just a dead zone. Um, everything is really shallow. You know, there's no great wide open, like eight foot anchorages for sailboats. So I'm at a standstill and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm not making it this way. So I turn around, start going back at the bridge. Instantly I'm going like six knots the other way. And now I'm, uh, now I'm aground. Uh, the wind is still cooking. I'm still getting blasted like broadside with these gusts of wind. I'm, I'm healed over about probably 10 degrees. The next few days look pretty chill. So, hopefully I can put some, put some good days in between me and this and forget about it, but, but, but always keep it in my, keep it in my mind. Ah. So now I know. Yellow on the wind app, not good. After finally being freed from my sh shoal prison, I am in Swansboro today. Just got fueled up at the dock. I'm going to Walmart. Pretty much have to Uber to a Walmart in every one of these cities. Get a bunch of fruit. It's my anchorage tonight. It's a uh, CW favorite, clearly. Just had a pretty spooky situation. Um, had an oil pressure light go on. And I was right by this marina and um, anchored on the ICW. Anchor held, thankfully. Um, super light wind, but kind of a strong current. And checked my oil level and I had like no oil. I think I burned it all in the dismal swamp when I had a clogged cooling line and I was just trucking along with all this smoke behind me. So I dumped a whole can in there, turned it on and the light went off. So thank God for that. We're still on time. We're still making it to Charleston. Hey everyone, a little update. I am paddle boarding in North Carolina to go get a pizza. There's my boat in the background there. Not sure if you can see it. Good morning, friends. We are leaving North Carolina out of the uh, Masonboro Inlet, right by Wilmington. And we are just blasting out of this channel because uh, the tide's going out. Eight o'clock, nice morning. Got my donut holes, my coffee. Doing six and a half knots. Well, I think I made a large blunder navigationally because the weather looked good and I was so eager to go out in the ocean and get out of the ICW um, that I, I went out of Masonboro Inlet, which is above Cape Fear, which has this really long shoal sticking out of it. 
So foolishly, I could have stayed on the ICW and cut out a good portion of that distance uh, ducking inside Cape Fear. Uh, but I was worried about maybe the current would slow me down and I was sick of, you know, boats in my way. Check out this massive, <clears throat> massive geese V coming in from the north here. They should be coming over pretty soon. This is the, the offshore express train you don't see. It's gotta be like 200 goosers. Oh, one dude is getting dropped. Oh no. Damn. What a huge crew. There they go. They're gonna take the shortcut. Damn, what a squad. Tight. Folks, we just did, we just completed a massive shortcut through the frying pan shoals. They said it couldn't be done. But this boat, with, it, with its tiny draft, took the shortcut. Cape Fear, more like Cape Fun. We're having a great time. Had to uh, move out of the channel for somebody. All right, I'm out in the Long Bay. Um, it's very calm, it's no wind but so I'm motoring, um, but there's some following waves, so I'm getting rolled a little bit. Um, autopilot's on, nobody around me for miles, so I'll just occasionally go out and look. Um, no, no fish traps to worry about, which is nice. Um, but around, around midnight, the wind's gonna pick up to considerable levels and I'm, my plan is to just blast straight to Charleston, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get caught in this stuff, and it's gonna be all behind me. So I'm gonna be, you know, pushing with it. I'm not gonna be trying to fight into it or go alongside it. Um, so I'm thinking that'll be a game changer, but I might have signed myself up for some really uncomfortable boat driving. Um, I might I might put a little jib up. A little, little storm jib, um, but we'll see how it feels. Um, well, it's 12:30 in the morning. The wind picked up right on schedule. It's cold because it's from the from the north. Um, not not sharp cold, but kind of subtly cold, and. Um, we're, we're handling it well, the boat's handling it well. There's a little bit of an increase in the following sea, um, but the autopilot's doing that well. Um, and we got a little speed boost. We're going like five and a half, six knots now. So making a good, making a, a, a bit of an acceleration there. And if it just continues like this, I'm, I'm psyched. Um, I, I bet it's gonna bump up a little bit more um, but if the autopilot can handle it, I'm totally happy to just sit down here and then pop my head up and check once in a while um, what, what, you know, see what's out there. So if, um, if all else stays, then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to chill out here. Um, but we'll see. I bet the sea's going to ramp up and the wind's going to pop up even more. Um, so we'll see. Things are getting rowdy.
old front. Country motoring <laughs> to Beaufort or Beaufort, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Out here listening to industrial music, hardening the mind for the night ahead. Um, pounding headache. Nice night off South Carolina. Red sky at night, too. It's delight. Woo! Some crazy inlet currents and finally Marine Land Marina lies on the horizon. Well, there's my marina. Kind of a fun final bridge to go through turn into this channel and then uh, we sit tight for a few months. Wow, crazy. 